G'day, so I just wanted to acknowledge a few people before we get into the process um, who really helped out um, and helped us kind of kick the can down the road a bit. Um, I'd just like to really thank Dennis. Although he didn't um, work on what we did, he supplied a lot of information and that information came out from when he did it back in 2020. Uh, when this same thing happened back in 2020 and GoPro was scratching their head, he actually created a fix before Go, GoPro engineers did. Um, and I was put in touch with him and he supplied me with the information of what we needed to do. Um, so that made the whole thing a lot quicker than it would have been. Uh, also, thanks to Sir Jay and uh, Hiko for their help. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get on with it. G'day, so today I'm just going to run you through how to update the GoPro Karma drone uh, with the new World Magnetic Model Data. It's uh, fairly straightforward. Um, all you really need is a uh, USB to serial TTL device. Um, if you did the bootloader fix, you'll already have one of those and you'll have the cable that's required to plug into the drone as well. Uh, if not, there's a parts list in the description um, of what parts you need. Um, to be able to build one of those. Um, there's very little you actually need to build, uh, unlike the fix for the uh, bootloader issue, because you don't need to use an SD card or anything like that to do this one. It's really just a matter of copying commands into PuTTY uh, to run on the drone. It's, it's fairly straightforward. Anyway, so if you don't have one of those USB devices, um, there's a parts list in the description of where you can buy it, what you need for the cable, that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, so let's turn the drone on. So on the right-hand side of the screen, I've got PuTTY. You'll see what's happening with the drone on that. On the left-hand side, I've got all the commands that I'm going to run. So let's turn it on. And the first thing we're going to need to do is log in. What you'll notice is the login screen comes up, but then it disappears. There we go. And all that is is that other lines have come along and they've overwritten it. It's still there. Um, I'll just activate that screen. If I just hit enter, it comes back. So we're logging in with root and the password. Uh, just remember passwords are case sensitive and the second character is actually a number. So now all I need to do is just copy the commands one at a time so, so that I can write to it as well. So it just remounts it in a read-write fashion as opposed to just read, which is what it originally is. The second thing we want to do is we just want to back up the existing file. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is we need to grab, see all these echo lines? We just need to grab, there's two sets of them. So we just grab these echo lines. So I just select them all. In the first batch, see there's a second batch, so I just want that first batch. So I copy that and I come back to PuTTY and to paste it in PuTTY, all I'm doing is doing a right mouse click. So that's a right mouse click and it just dumps it all in there. So those are run. So now I just need to go and select the second lot. So same deal, just grab all these echo commands. So copy. Paste them in. And for this one, I just need to hit enter on the end. And that's done. So that's it. It's updated. What we'll do, we'll go and just have a really quick look. Um, you don't have to do this um, because that will, have, that will have done it. But I'll show you what it's changed. So if we really quickly uh, we'll jump over to the directory um, that it existed in we list out its contents, we can see that we have um, a wmm.cof and there is also a wmm.bac. The .bac is the old one. So if we just have a quick look at the new one we've written in, and we just really want to look at the headers. So here you see, this is the 2025 data. 
That's the World Magnetic Model 2025, and this is the date it was created. So that's in US time format, so the 13th of the 11th, 2024. Okay, so that's the one we've written. And if we have a really quick look at the back file, which is the old one, you'll see the subtle difference. Apart from the numbers are different, um, because that's expected, because it is different data. Otherwise, why would we change it? If we have a quick look at those top headings, you'll see that this is the 2020 data and the World, Mag World Magnetic Model 2020, and it was created on the 10th of the 12th, 2029. Okay, so from here, all I need to do is disconnect the cable, um, put the cover on it, take it outside. It's more than likely going to want me to calibrate it. Um, I would calibrate it anyway, even if it doesn't ask you to do that. Uh, and then just give it a quick test flight and uh, yeah, it should be right to go. Thanks for watching.